Hi everyone, it's Al Nigren, Executive Director and Curator of the New Jersey International Film Festival here. This is the first of our three-part interview series, although this first part is just going to be featuring me, telling you a little bit about the upcoming lineup we have for the New Jersey International Film Festival. The festival itself will run from May 29th through July 10th on select evenings. Most of them are on the weekends, although there's one on Tuesday, one on Wednesday, one on Thursday, and a couple of others that are during the week. And those will be free, and they're being sponsored by the Rutgers University Summer Session, and they'll feature films that are mainstream films like American Hustle, Ride Along, uh, Hunger Games, Catching Fire, and there'll be another couple that will be announced um, shortly. So you can check out our website, which is www njfilmfest.com to get complete information about our festival. But I wanted to point out some of the highlights for you uh, for our competition films. The New Jersey International Film Festival is in its 19th year, and it's been running in the summer since back in 1996, I guess, yeah. And um, we ask for filmmakers to, mit to submit films from all around the world. We received 357 this year. And we have a very, very well-established jury of students, media professionals, academics like myself, former winners, and interns looking at these films. And there's a two-tiered jurying process where that 357 is boiled down to about 150. And then those are watched by another jury made up of similar individuals, and they select the final 24 films that we will be screening between May 30th and June 14th, and they'll be taking place on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday evenings, with the exception of Father's Day. So there's eight programs that are all competition films. They're short films, student films, animation films. You name it, we have it, and we have a film for every interest out there. Our opening film is on Friday, May 30th, and features three short films followed by a feature. The three short films all kind of have a science fiction vibe. Into the Dark by Lucas Hassel um, somehow reminded me of a new film called Under the Skin and Gravity. They have this outer space claustrophobic feel, but was really, really well done. The Wanted ad is by local filmmakers Toby Sigona and Keith St. Lawrence, and is about 1920s young people who are teleported to the 21st century. And a lot of the film was shot at Rutgers University, so it's perfect for us. Chasing the Past is by Jonathan Salemi, and this film is also about uh, some alien visitor who changes the future. So those three films definitely go together. The feature film is by Jenny Matz, and it has a Jersey theme as well. It follows um, the Rye Coalition Band, which was a, a series of young people who were making music in the 90s, and it's a kind of rise and fall of this, uh, you know, celebrated indie rock band. Um, and a lot of the band members will be there, as well as the director. It's getting its world premiere as, at our screening, so we're very proud of that. That's on Friday, May 30th. On Saturday, May 31st, we have a, two short films followed by an amazing feature film, which we will also profile here in our interview series. So you'll get to meet Judy. White, who's the screenwriter and producer of the film, um, next week. And uh, her film, Lies, I Told My Little Sister, was also shot in New Jersey and follows a kind of dysfunctional family as they try to make their way through a tragic event. It's really a lot of fun. It's a, a comedy drama, comedy slash drama that I highly recommend. Features some name actors. And um, Ellen Foley, who plays the mom, uh, you may remember from her great singing in the Meatloaf album. Um, and uh, she's also an accomplished musician and performer. So she's going to be at the screening, so come and check it out on May 31st. The, f the opening weekend concludes with some amazing horror movies. And the feature that night is entitled Horror Film by Sebastian Wachecki, and he is from Germany. This amazing film plays homage to the great silent films of 1920s Germany, films like F.W. Murnau's Nosferatu and Fritz Lang's Metropolis. So this movie is really, really wonderful, beautifully shot. The acting is amazing. It's a film like you've never seen. So come and join us on Sunday, June 1st. 
on June 6th, if you like uh, kind of crime dramas that have a local flavor. Joe Basile's West End is shot on the Jersey Shore, and Joe likes to call his film a kind of Hamlet on the Jersey Shore, and I recommend that film to you on Friday, June 6th. And then on Saturday, June 7th, an amazing documentary by Joe Seibert entitled The Sax Man which follows this amazing saxophone player who was a street musician who rose to fame. So if you're familiar with the film Rodriguez, this is along those lines, although I think it's a better film if you ask me. And we'll be screening that on Saturday, June 7th. Sunday, June 8th, another musical artistic film as the feature, Lynn Folk's One Man Band, the most famous artist you never heard of. This fellow is an amazing, amazing artist, and if you're into art and music, you should be there for that screening. We have some other great films. I know you all like Stiller and Mirror. Well, uh, Ben Stiller is not in this film, but his dad is, and it's called Simpler Times, directed by Steve Monarch. And Jerry Stiller plays this elderly man trying to make sense of 21st century technology. It's an, a hysterical film. I highly recommend it on Friday the 13th, Friday, June 13th. The feature that evening is by Jamie Chambers from London, England. It's entitled Blackbird. It's an amazingly moving film about Scottish music and uh, how uh, the past is being forgotten in this little town. It's really a perfect film for simpler times, and they go together very nicely, and both the filmmakers should be there for the screening. Brad Mays' I Grew Up in Princeton is a film for anybody who grew up in Princeton in the 70s and 80s. It's a really an amazing documentary, and I hope you can join us. That will be on the closing night, which is Saturday, June 14th, closing night of the competition films. So thanks for listening to this long ramble, and hope you'll come and join us at our wonderful film festival, which is free and open to the public as far as parking goes. You have to pay $10 to get into the screenings. There will be free food courtesy of Jimmy John of New Brunswick prior to each one of these screenings, and you can get complete information at our website, which is www.njfilmfest.com, or you can call us at 848-932-8482. Thanks so much for listening.